Okay, now, <clears throat> I'm not going to say too much because this is one of our elders, okay? It's really sad when you have people praise a man to that level. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this in my life. I can see if there was even a hint of deserving him being deserving of this type of praise, but to get this type of praise from an oppressed people for a man like this is unbelievable to me. I'm trying to figure this thing out. It's, it's almost as if something is in the air. Something was released into the air that has changed the thought waves of a lot of people because things that I'm hearing people say I'm confused by it. I am I'm thoroughly confused by many of the things I'm seeing people I'm hearing people say and seeing people do. Okay, I get it if you don't like the other fella. I keep saying that. People think that just because you don't support and like this one that you automatically support the other one. When I've said time and time again, nobody's on my channel prom promoting and praising the other one, so I don't need to say anything, okay? I don't feel anything for either one. Okay, people hear what they want to hear. So they, they believe that you automatically want this one because you don't want this one. The problem I'm having and that I'm seeing is that a lot of people are supporting this one right here with absolutely no reason to. He hasn't provided any reasons. And I'm trying to figure out all of these amazing things that people are saying that he's done. And I'm trying to figure out all of these promises that they've said he's kept. I'm trying to figure all of this stuff out. So what are we living in two different worlds? Is this like the other side? You know, and I've just kind of stumbled on, you know, the movie, the show Fringe, where they had two, like an alternative universe or alternate universe, right? Where there were duplicated people on another side. <laughs> I'm feeling like that's what's going on because people are praising someone who doesn't deserve to be praised, someone who has been so divisive and has not kept any promises, have no morals, but they are propping him up and comparing him to David and even uh, who they call Jesus. You see, I'm trying to figure this one out. 
um, if anyone can help me to understand this. I'm not talking about policies at this point because people are talking about, well, his policies are better. I'm not talking about all of that. If we just lay policies aside, if we all realize that um, they're all the same snake with two different heads and stop thinking that one is better than the other, if we can get that off the table and just look at morals, okay? A lot of people are trying to say that they don't care about the morals of their president. That's very disturbing to me. Very disturbing. You don't care about the morals. You don't care about all of the rendezvous, even with those who are underage. All of the, the, the statements. So you're telling me you're okay with someone who looked at their own daughter in a sexual way. And even Michael Cohen's daughter, 15 years old, she talked about how he said some very creepy, disturbing, disgusting things to her as well. And there were adult men saying they don't care about that. Even adult women of all colors and races, they don't care about those things. Some were Christians. Anyway, I'm done with this video, you all. To see our one of our elders speak in the way that he was. It reminds me of the statement that a Republican said a long time ago when he said, simple minded darkies. What do you think? Do you agree with what this old man was saying? Do you agree with him? Was he speaking truthfully? Can you say with all certainty that he was speaking Nothing but the truth. All right, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video. And with that, I'm out of here. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.